the best in poker news, entertainment, and more. This is the Mark Oak Show. Hey everybody, how we doing? Whoop, I'm sorry, I got to mute that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, just a second. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta put that on mute. I do apologize. Unfortunately, my my, my alma mater has fallen behind. Yeah, it's not gonna be a pillow fight down there, but Illinois State is leading North Dakota State seven to nothing. That's that sucks. It's early too, so I know it's early, but, but still how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Other than a football game? Um, well, there's plenty of time. Yeah, plenty, plenty of time. Because Illinois State sucks. but <laughs> Another beautiful day here at the uh, Pokestar Caribbean Adventure. Oh, yeah. Or otherwise known as the PCA here at the Atlantis. And, of course, we want to thank Poker Stars for uh, having us down here. A great time. And, uh, of course, the excitement going on today is Yon, the main event. It's beyond the main event? No, the Yon, Yon, like Yonder. Oh, Yon, Yon main okay. event. Oh, I thought you said Beyond. I'm like, did they stick another tournament in here that I wasn't aware of? No, there's a lot of tournaments. So, yeah, yeah it looks like players are just coming out uh, on their first break. So, maybe we'll get lucky and get to grab somebody while they uh, have a minute or two. But, of course, uh, day two of this main event today, and uh, players still able to register for this thing. So, the, four starting days, is that correct? Uh, no, just the two starting days. But oh, just two. But uh, you can register in here. Let me, let me pull Very that. late, though, right? Yeah, let me pull that uh, pull that structure sheet up here for you. Um, y- you can register up until noon today. So if you got in, so basically if you hadn't, you, you had the option. If you wanted to just come in and start on day two, you could. Okay. So, But you have until noon today? Yeah, which is we're, over. We're past that time. You're past that, so they're done. So, so whoever's in is in. Whoever's out, well, hasta luego. <laughs> We'll see you on a water slide. They should, you know, if you bust out on the main event, they should have a water slide for you to go out on. Right, I mean, out, out the door down the water slide? That would be cool. It would be kind of cool. I mean, you know, some players might be a little upset about that. But and if you make day two, you should get go on to the Lazy River. That would be all right. Just relax. and. They should put a table on the Lazy River. Okay. Could you uh, could you imagine a floating table in the main event on a lazy on the Lazy River? Well, they didn't have floating <laughs> tables, but they did have blackjack tables in the pool at the Tropicana years ago. I don't believe that exists anymore, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, these guys are all coming in here and ready to roll on this thing. You know, um, can I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I want to interject something here. Yeah, nobody can see this, but this is a pretty wide hallway, mm-hmm. and there's two palm trees in a pot. I kind of hang over just a tiny bit, but there's plenty of space in between, and it's amazing the amount of people that will come by. And just hit the palm like that gentleman right there. Some people actually get whacked in the head with them. Like, are they, do they not see the, the the leaves of the palm tree hanging? I think it's just a you, it's you an entrance thing. I think it's a. You think they want to feel that tropical? Hey, there's Rep Porter, by the way. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He it, Rep wears short and nice shorts, hanging out, drink in his hand. He's in paradise. He's having a good old time. Hey, he's got a drink. He's got shorts on. He's got sneakers. It's all um, right. So this is a very interesting structure here, by the way. Oh, and Natasha Barber's here, too. Yay. Yeah, Natasha walking by. On the phone. Like, yeah, of course. Um, but a very interesting structure for this one, of course. Uh, the players uh, had day 1A and 1B uh, over the last two days. Start of day two today. Uh, the first two days, 60-minute blind levels. And they played through, I think it was level 8 yesterday. I'm just uh, skimming down here real fast. Yeah, so they'll do the same today. They'll play right through the same amount of levels today, or is it based upon number of? Well, levels? now they're now they play ninety minute levels. So that that was actually why we started the show at one thirty. Okay. Uh, 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 see, I had that planned out. Um, so day one was sixty minute levels. They go to ninety minute levels. But isn't uh, the, this the second day the, of day one? No. Oh, it's day two. Joe, where you been? Uh, in paradise. Yeah, exactly. Get the water out of your ears. Stop Sorry. swimming with the fishes. I, I think I hit that palm tree too many times. I think you did too. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, but we are, like I said, we're on day two right but now. But you so could have, so, okay, this is where I got confused then. But you could have entered the tournament today, today up until? Up until the start of play. Okay. Yeah. So speaking of, uh, 
You know, we just had this guy on the show a few days we ago. We did. Look at this guy. He is looking sharp, too. Look at those sunglasses. Yeah, and, he's, you know. whole, he's, he's in his he's own, though. He's focused, man. Oh, wow. He, yeah, he is focused. I've never seen Chris Moneymaker that focused before. He raised his two fingers like, hey. Yeah, he's guys. like, hey, what's but up? He, uh, he, he was what's on a mission. Up? He did. He gave us the, what's up? Thank God he didn't do this to us. Yeah, well, Chris doesn't do that to me. No, nah, he's a good guy. You, Chris. maybe, but not me. Oh, Chris and I, we go back a long way. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well once again, as we, like I said, we were talking about the blind structure. Now, these guys uh, are playing, they, they're getting 15-minute breaks on these, but they are only playing five levels each uh, the next couple of days. Oh, really? So five they're and playing out? five 90-minute levels. So they're actually going to be done around around 8 o'clock tonight. So basically they're playing six hours. So this is a six-day event. Wow. So you know, we've got, uh, like I said. Uh, That's a relatively short day, six hours of playing time. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Well, have, a, have a good time. Have a good time. You're in the Bahamas, man. Yeah, it's, but it's but it's a uh, very like I said, uh, just running down through here real quick. Uh, like I said, day one one a one b they played eight levels, five levels today, five levels tomorrow, five levels or down to sixteen players uh, for day oh, four. Five levels, so it's actually uh, a little bit more than six hours. So days uh, day five play down to the final eight, and then final table on day six. So basically, seven and a half hour days, which is just about half of what the WSOP requires you to play every day. Yeah, plus there's you know they're getting two 15 minute breaks in there and that's it. They're playing two levels. Right. Take a break. Well, WSOP takes a break um, every level. I'm sorry, every I'm sorry, after yeah, every level yeah, I apologize. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, it says 15 minute break after every two levels. So oh, wow. I guess they uh they they must have been on the uh, a, a break point here so they'll play two more levels, take a break, then two levels, take a break. So that's where they're at. So, uh, you know, great structure, plenty of time to play in this thing. What's the starting I think chips I here? I think I could have made day two. What were the starting chips on this main event? You ask me questions, and then I have to search. It's here somewhere. See, now I'm, I'm leaning in here, trying to find the starting chips. I'm looking, looking, looking. I'm sure it's here somewhere. 30,000. 30,000, okay. Same 30, as the 000. main event, yep. yep. So uh, these guys are really excited to play. There's Rep. Rep looks like he needs something to do for two minutes. Rep, do you need something to do for two minutes? Let's have Rep Porter uh, step in here real quick. Say hello to everybody. We didn't pull the... Oh, we didn't get the third chair. Okay. That's all right. We'll, we'll have Rep come in and say hi. I, I, Rep, you look comfortable. Thanks, Mark. You How look you? very comfortable. I am. I'm having a good time. Yeah. So, well, it's the Bahamas. It's sunny. How could it go wrong? Oh, absolutely. Well, maybe if you mess with that guy right there. Well, yeah, but he's only tough at poker. Not in real life. <laughs> oh, Jason Mercy, you're not tough. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, what does this event mean to you on the calendar? What what makes this a must for you to come down and play? Um, it's one of the few still really big field ten thousand dollar events that have what I feel are like a pretty high expectancy. So to me, it's probably the second best poker tournament of the year I play behind the main event. And the cash games are always good here. The scenery is nice. You see people from all over the world. They all come here. It's not like, I mean, the World Series is like that, but there's not very many other spots where you get to catch up with a lot of people at once, so that's always mm -hmm. nice as well. Yeah, I mean, this is an unbelievable place. This is my first time down here, so I'm kind of taking it all in and enjoying it. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek from some places. Like Seattle, it takes me a whole day to get here and a whole day to go home. Oh, wow. So, But I think this is the sixth time I've come out of the 11 years I've had it. Nice. Yeah, I like it. It just, you know, it doesn't always quite fit into the family schedule, but when it does, I try to make it. Beats the heck out of Seattle, doesn't it? This time of year, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this structure, uh, we were just we were just talking about it. It's an incredible structure. So much time in this thing, you know, with those ninety minute levels, and you know, and you only have to get through five levels uh, each day, which you know, it, it doesn't sound like a challenge, but obviously with this field, it certainly is. Well, I mean, it's still eight and a half hours of poker from the time you arrive to the time you go home, and there's no lunch break, so there's a lot of focus over a long period of time, and over the course of six days, it does add up, but I'd rather play six days of nine hours than, you know, four days of ten hours or twelve hours, however that translates, um, but the 90-minute levels are nice. It gives you a lot of play. There's a lot of room to, to maneuver and really to, you know, be patient and try to find your good spots to, to play your hands rather than being forced to have a lot of confrontations early in the tournament. Now, did you get to play any other events uh, before this one? I played two yesterday while I was uh, waiting. You know, I played day 1A, so I had the day off yesterday. I played the, the PLO Turbo yesterday, and then I got out in time to play the 2200 Turbo as well. Oh, there you go. Well, it wasn't really quite the plan. Yeah, obviously. But, but that, uh, that 
Did you get was that one of the double the double bubble tournaments at twenty two hundred or? Yesterday was a bounty one. Well, that was a bounty. Like every okay. other day is a double bubble and then a bounty. So managed to collect one bounty. Had a few people all in with their bounties on the line, but I failed to win. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's the way poker goes. Some days you do good, and some days you go home. <laughs> that's very true. That's yeah. that's about the best way to put it. Uh, so where are you sitting right now? It's uh, where are you at? I got just a touch over a hundred thousand, which is a pretty good stack. I think average is about sixty. So nice. Yeah. Plenty of room to work with. Awesome. I, mean, I don't think we end the day 1K, 2K blinds are last blinds for the day. So even at the end of the day, I still have 50 blinds, plenty of plenty of chips to play. So no pressure or anything at the moment. Very nice. You well, well, change quick. You never know. That, that is that is so true. All right, I'll let you get back in there. Good, good luck to you. Hopefully uh, we'll see you on that final table. Yes, that would be good. Thanks, Mark. You got it. Good Take to see care. you, buddy. You too. Hey, you're Rep Porter, everybody, joining us here on the Mark Oak Show. So we are live here at the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure, having a great time. Players are on break here in the main event. And of course, they've got a lot of other tournaments going on today too, Joe. Now, this isn't just show up here at the uh, at the main event and go home. 35 events in this series. In nine days, right? In nine days. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Uh, today, uh, let me just uh, make sure... Well, I tell you, the days just run together in here. Um, Today's Saturday, by the way. Yeah, today is Saturday. I'm just uh, looking at the date is the 10th. Uh, 22, other than the main event at uh, day two, we got a $2,200 no limit hold'em tournament that kicked off at noon. Uh, at three o'clock, 52 or $5,300 pot limit Omaha eight handed tournament. Uh, we have at five o'clock, $5,300 no limit hold'em turbo eight handed. And at seven o'clock, Six hundred dollar no limit hold'em super satellite, uh, unlimited re-entries, and that is for uh, event number eighteen, uh, which is the fifty three hundred dollar no limit hold'em eight handed. So there's a lot of consolation prizes. Uh, should you falter in the uh, in the main event? You know what's interesting, and I know you 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 brought this question up uh, during one of the symposiums to about stamina and older players and Tom McAvoy feeling that. Um, Nobody over the age of, I think he said 55, would ever win the main event again. I'm wondering if he would feel the same way about this tournament with the, sh not the shorter levels, but an hour, an hour and a half, I suppose, the two-hour levels in the main event and only having to play for less than nine hours a day. I wonder if he would feel that an older player, 55 or older, would have a better shot in this tournament than he would at the main event at the World Series because of the 12 to 14 hour days and the two hour levels. Yeah, I, th I think the structure plays well for everybody. It's you know, Obviously, you only have to start at noon and you're going to be done around 8, 8.30, so there's right. you know plenty of, uh, you know, I mean, the only the only disadvantage, obviously, is that there's no dinner break in there. So, you yeah, know, but you, you got to bring, you know, you got to bring some food to the table or grab something real quick. Well, but, yeah. but I think, but I think it's a great structure. I think, you know, to, yeah, you don't have to have that endurance to get through the, the yeah, well, 12 to 2 a.m. What you, you don't know? want to do, and we've, we, we've, we've discussed this and it's been discussed by many in nutrition fi nutritional field, is you don't want to eat too much before you play because you get that food coma kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But with this having no dinner break, you do want to have something to eat. You don't want to go for eight to nine hours. So you have to kind of measure your, your intake. We're in the World Series. You get a break every two hours. You can, you know, 15-minute break where you can grab a, an energy bar, so to speak. But then again, you can always bring those energy bars right to the table and eat them, too. Well, so. and I think another thing, too, is, uh, you know, you, you know, we've heard a lot about this in a lot of the symposiums, that that sleep factor yep. is, is very important. Because I, I would, you know, if it were me and this is the way I'd be attacking it is, I would want to, you know, be up around you know, <laughs> 9, 30, 10 o'clock, you know, if not sooner, maybe, you know, if you're working out maybe get a little you know get a right. little walk in get some exercise you know get lunch around 10 10 30 and then be ready to play at noon and be ready to play at noon you know and you know and load up a little bit don't go crazy but you know get get a good amount of food in your stomach have some snacks ready to go for you mm -hmm. uh, throughout the day because you know once you're done around 8 or 8 30 then you got dinner time and you're yeah, good and then you can so get, and you can still get a good night's sleep right after dinner absolutely so uh, yeah i mean i i do love this structure i mean when i first really got to take a hard look at it i was pretty impressed i mean it's it plays well and and of course there's a lot of opportunities once again if you bust out a lot to do even with those cash games too there's a lot of not neat stuff oh, excuse me pardon me let me get a drink of water there unfortunately from, uh, from the atlantis paradise island in the bahamas by the way 
Okay. Just, just thought we just thought we mentioned that. Maybe we one of the least things that are attractive here is their water, but the everything else is just. It's still clear and beautiful. It is clear. It's beautiful here at the bottom. I can see right to that palm tree. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> the one that everybody runs into. All right, and so uh, that's what's happening at the moment. We want to break down where we are, uh, where we were to start the day as well. Let me pull up all my news information here from yesterday's play. Yeah, I was going to say, do we have any results from yesterday's play that we'd like to pass along? So day, so of course, once again, we're starting day two here. And let me get the uh, get my press release up here and ready to go. Uh, Dietrich Fast is the chip leader going into day two. Uh, put up a total yesterday of 208,200. Of course, uh, Alex Millar was your chip leader after day one. He had 169,000. Uh, Millar is third. Second is a guy that I got to know down in Florida quite a bit, Konstantinos uh, Pantaridis. Very good player. Uh, you know, A lot of people don't know about Konstantinos, but seeing him down at the Seminole Hard Rock, that guy is... There's almost not a tournament that he's not around and, and a contender. He is a very good player. So we could be looking to see uh, Constantinos making a nice run here in this main event as he uh, starts when, the day off when, in second when place. When you see players like that, and not just this gentleman, but other players constantly going deep, it's when you start to realize that the argument that this is a game of skill is very relevant. Yeah, absolutely. It's not, not a game of luck at all. Because if it was a game of luck, you know, You'd see one player win, and you might not see him win for a while. But when you see these players, they don't always win, but they just seem to be consistently going deep, consistently making final tables. There, there is a big skill factor here. Absolutely. And yeah. I wish I wish our government would start to realize that, that we, this is not gambling. Is it gambling because do you have to put money down to enter the tournament? Yeah, but that's probably the only thing that would even maybe suffice to say that that constitutes gambling because you're putting money up. Well, you know, you put money up in um, in the stock market too, right? But the government allows that. I think our government just needs to realize there's other companies out there than Harris or uh, Caesars, I should say. We'll just we'll just throw that well, one out there and leave that, that one in that <laughs> before I have a meeting with Ty Stewart well, in a couple of weeks. Th there's a game called Monopoly. Uh huh. Uh, um, I'm not su suggesting that there's a monopoly going on, but th there is a game called Monopoly. There is. We've seen it. You take that inference any way you want. Yep, whatever you'd like to do, sir. There you go. Yeah, so uh, that is... Uh, There's also a game called Yahtzee, too. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little Parcheesi. And Risk. Love Risk. There you go. I got Risk all day long. We got any football scores? I saw you kind of... Uh, I'm getting there. I'm okay. kind of bouncing around I here. I see that. Uh, just looking at all, my, all the tons of notes I have. Uh, 368 players got through yesterday's field. Uh, five out of a 587 starting group. Uh, 139 got through on day 1A, and of course we had other entrants today. So we don't know the exact number yet, do we? So we had 807 that got in so far, but we uh, once again we do have to wait for registration or find out what the final number is. Uh, I'm sure well, they probably got it on the board. I was going to say when we take our first commercial break, I'll, I'll scoot over to the board. I may even pick up the trophy and bring it back. Oh Jesus, don't do that. You think you think security will follow oh me? Oh my God, it's a beautiful trophy. I would love to show everyone. Well, you are the host of the show, so I suppose you could do what you think want, I could Joe. Say I'm just going to borrow this for a slight... Just, yeah, just for a minute. For a moment. Yeah, okay. Uno, uno momento. Um, some of the other players that uh, got through yesterday, uh, let's see, uh, a lot of the celebrities faltered yesterday. Uh, Tito Ortiz did not get through. Jason Alexander uh, went down. Sergio Garcia got through, but he was at 7,500 in chips. So the uh, legendary... So Jason is out? Does Jason that mean Alexander's you're not going to get the interview that you were instructed to? Uh, well, that means he's got a free day. If so maybe we'll, we'll, talk to the, we'll talk to the team and see. I mean, I know he's a busy guy. But why would you come to the Bahamas and then want to go home? Oh, you might have other commitments. Uh, well, he, well you but if, he, if he'd have been in the, main, in the championship, he well, wouldn't have had yeah, any commitments. Now would he? Well, but I will yeah. tell you this. If you don't get that interview, you, you might find your pillow at the front door when you get home. That's a possibility. Lily Coletto, by the way, walking by. Um, let's see, some of the other players that uh, got through, just looking at a uh, few of the names, Daniel Negreanu, Libori, uh, Leo Margetz, uh, Jonathan Duhamel, Jake Cody, uh, Elke through, Jason Mercier, uh, Marc-Andre Ladusor, Ike Haxton, all through to day two. So yeah, they are you know, when I first got here, the um, 
I saw my first massage girl. Not ever, but first massage girl <laughs> here. And and I saw the shirt that she had on. It said, the best hands. And I'm like, wow, how ingenious this girl. I bet you she gets a ton more business because she has this shirt on. And then I saw the rest of the massage girls. And they all got the same shirt. They did. The best hands. Yes. But I thought I only saw one. I'm like, that's pretty slick. That's good marketing. Yeah, not bad. But it's actually so. good marketing for everyone. Cause yeah, it's for their company. Yeah. So The best hands. Uh, let's see. I, I know a couple people uh, have gone out here already, and I, I know I saw live and on Twitter. Uh, Alan Kessler was eliminated a little while ago, and he was in a pouty mood. Alan in a pouty mood. Uh, hmm. What's today? <laughs> Alan's in a pouty mood. It ends with a Y. Ends with a y. y. Exactly. It ends with a Y. Uh, I, I know I saw some other names go down. Unfortunately, yeah, here's the one issue with the PCA 2015 hashtag. The People's Choice Awards was also in play, and they used PCA 2015. Sarah Grant should come on the show. Sarah, Right now, Sarah Grant should come on the show. You're not doing anything important. It's poker stars, or, or it, it's poker news. Who cares, right? Everyone cares. <laughs> Let's say her in here for a minute real quick. Because i got to ask her about the T.O. Ortiz workout. Oh, my God. The, uh, uh, for you know, we mentioned it on the show yesterday that uh, there was a special 10 a.m. workout, beach workout with Tito Ortiz. So, Sarah, we got to move you in there just a little closer there. So, okay. So, oh, could you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest. I have a newfound respect for my husband's profession. He says, "Oh, I'm going to go train," and I'm thinking. Oh, like I enjoy going to the gym also, but this is <laughs> is not the same thing. It was it definitely kicked my ass. Uh, first, by the way, congratulations on the nuptials. I don't think we've had you on the show since you got married, oh, so congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, great day, big fun day. Now it's time to start planning the honeymoon. You haven't gone on a honeymoon yet? No. It, you know, this business there's just a lot of travel involved and it's hard to squeeze in the right time. Also, weddings are super expensive, so I had decided to pull a little to the side. Well, you know, you could have just gone down to the little wedding chapel in Vegas and, and heard, gotten the job done. I've heard that's a thing, but you know, I've never, never been. Mu uh, okay, actually, I'll be honest with you. I gave Heath the opportunity to do that after we'd been together for like two years. We met up in Vegas, and I was like, "Let's just do it," and he's like, "Yeah, let's just go." But um, his family kind of vetoed that, and uh, we decided not to. So then it was just like, "All right, well, then we're." going sort of big we only had 75 people it wasn't oh, like not super bad. big no. we kept it small i was sitting up on the roof i was that guy that was looking <laughs> down through the window <laughs> it was, the truth is i would have liked to have had everyone but oh, the of course. venue i was at was said 75 people and it was going to be this like big fine if we had more but then a bunch of people didn't show up and you know what what f those people that is terrible you know i actually had like three or four people not show at my wedding either i remember that and I'm j I was just thinking, if they would have even told me, you know, like a few days before, I could have at least invited people I knew in Vegas to come. You pay for every person. It's right. Like those people, it's fine. But, you know, you cost me, like, money that we could have spent on other things, like other people getting drunk. Do you, do you want to call anybody yeah. out? Well, it wasn't do any poker people. There wasn't really any poker people at my wedding. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> we can still Christy, call them out. Except for Christy was in my wedding. Yeah. And Lynn Gilmartin. Well, of course. Just the bitches. No, of course. You have you to do have that. You girls. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that. Thank so, you. Thank yeah. you. So let's talk about this Tito Ortiz thing. Uh, out on the beach, doing the thing, and, you know, I, I'm guessing, see, I knew that Tito was going to try and kill people out there, which is why I chose not to attend. What happened? I'm just going to say that also I think that the, uh, the sand element adds mm. a whole extra level of difficulty. Oh, yeah. Because, so he kicked it off with, you know, okay, we're going to do five minutes of working out and then one minute of rest. So, like, one minute of uh, lunges, one minute of sprints, one minute of push-ups, one minute of sit-ups, a minute of burpees, oh, a minute of God. rest. And, it, uh, to, oh, like, what I, I was thinking about, I was like, eh, <clears throat> You have no idea how hard certain things are in the, the sand. Mm -hmm. Everything's just, I was even, you know, like battling off the, the ocean. I was like close to the shoreline. Oh, I'm no, that lunges, too. The water's coming up. I was like, because I actually thought I was, I was going to have an edge because I thought the sand over there is harder, right? So I thought, oh, I'll be fine. But then the no. water started coming in fa farther and farther. Fortunately, I think it was supposed to be an hour long and, um, I had to come shoot a Q and A this morning, so I left after like fifteen minutes. I thought it was. I thought you said six earlier. Which is it? 
Okay, so I stayed for 15 minutes, but I was really only exercising I, for like. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> only, only enough to get the B roll and make it make myself look really ridiculous. There you go. We won't tell anybody though. A, a lot of people were there though. I was surprised. You know, a lot of times I think Poker Stars puts on a lot of really cool events and really cool things for free for people to come do. And generally, if it's anything that's before play, no one ever shows up. So uh, I was pretty impressed. I guess people are really trying to get in shape. There was even a baby there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Was, w- yeah w- exactly, w- exactly. Was Tito yelling at the baby? Yeah, everyone. He was. He was. <laughs> de- he was really vocal. A- at one point, he even goes, "Fear." No, he goes, "Pain is just weakness leaving the body." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, that is really funny." Because that was like an early '90s T-shirt slogan. You guys remember "No Fear"? Yeah. Like, second yeah. place is the first loser. Like I was like, "Oh my gosh, let's just throw out as many cliches as possible. <laughs> let's just go with it." But he was great. He was yelling and. Um, I'm sure it's funny because, you know, my husband, people have asked him a lot of times, like, why don't you start a gym? And he's like, you know, some people, some of the best coaches he's ever had, he said, you know, are not great fighters. And he's like, I am a good fighter, but I'm just not a good coach. I think Tito is obviously one of those people that, you know, bridges the gap where he's clearly a great fighter, but I think he also really is a great coach. He's, he's into it with you, you know, and, and awesome. wants to encourage you. So. It's a rare quality. I definitely think, um, yeah, I think he'll be fine in his life, clearly. Yeah, no doubt about that. <laughs> uh, and, of course, you know, we have the uh, LAPT Bahamas event and uh, the main event going on right now, along with a bunch of others. Early impressions uh, so far from this uh, PCA? I mean, it's interesting. From my perspective in the media, I'll throw this out, the last few days have been significantly shorter than any other PCA I've ever been at. Usually like day ones are going until midnight, so wrapping it up at nine is, you know, 9.30 is lovely. I think, you know, numbers wise, that probably isn't the best thing, but I will say pretty much everyone is always here. It's one of the best tournaments because when you're walking around, you know, part of my job is to just walk around and see who's who, where's where, what's the good matchups at the tables. And it's just ridiculous here because literally every table you go to, it's like, oh, that guy's a movie star. Oh, that's like the top five, you know, cash game players online all sitting together. Oh, there's, you know, every great live tournament grinder. It's just, it's a cool event because it's, it's just a lot of really good poker. But, you know, I was, uh, I went to Lauren Billings, like New Year's Eve party mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago. And she was asking me, you know, should I come? Um, what do you think about the games? And, you know, I had to be honest with her. Like, I think it's probably one of the shittiest values of all time. It's so much money up top that it's great. And it's, you know, such prestige. Everyone has to come. But it's like, <laughs> you're going to be playing with just the best players ever. So yeah, if your game's not tough. super, super solid, it's not really, like, a great place for you. Maybe you should go to Florida or, like, go take a cruise or something. I don't know. I dove in the tank. It was all right. I had fun. Oh, yeah, you played the Bahamas. Yeah, I did play the Bahamas. That was incredible. And there was a gazillion huge names in that tournament. I saw them coming towards me. I was at table one, and I felt like the walls were closing in as that night went on. But how was your table? Um, well, Tony Gregg showed up late. Oh, good. So Just he got in there, away. and, and Mar- Marvin Rettenmeyer knocked me out of the tournament. Oh, what a punk. He yeah, could. he's a good one to give chips to, though. Yeah, well, guy. there weren't many chips to give, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a fun guy. It's just, you know, honestly, it's a cool tournament. It's really fun t- in the middle of January to be somewhere where it's really nice outside. It's really expensive. <laughs> they just added this new thing, the VAT, the v- the value added tag. Yes. So that's an extra like 10% you're going to pay on everything. It's 7.5, but who's counting? 15% gratuity auto added to everything. It's just, you know, I hope someday we can have a tournament in like Cancun. That wouldn't be same bad. feel, same idea, but just like a little more traveler friendly. Maybe someone can get kidnapped or something. It makes a great story we, for me. We could just rent an island and bring Burger King. You know, that would that easy, would do it. Easy peasy. I, just, <laughs> I don't know. I really like coming here, though. I really do. I, it's hard to complain, but I'm just being honest for people. If you haven't been, just pr- ready yourself. Don't be disappointed. Yeah, you gotta you gotta bring a little extra coin in the wallet. And, yeah. You know, just yeah. be ready for some nasty poker. I mean, yeah. Because you know, really, like you know, this is really the one of the events in the world where the top players all come barreling in here and it's a little different from world series events because obviously there's a lot of you know new players in there so those fields kind of get diluted this field these fields do not no 
It's great. And it really, I mean, even if you look at just the LAPT final table, of course the super high roller is going to be sick, but the LAPT final table was, you know, seven out of nine of the guys are just well-known, regular names. Two of them have already won a PCA before. Like, okay, that's a 3K tournament here at the PCA. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's definitely, it's just a different thing. It's a different vibe. So what can we look forward to on uh, your coverage for the rest of the series? I got Tito to teach me how to um, choke my husband out, so that should be a good one. And uh, it, you can also learn to, no matter how small you are, you can choke out a big person. This is the story. Although I don't recommend this because there was an incident once that I was involved in. I'm not going to give too many details, but apparently if you try to choke someone out, you can be charged for attempted murder because it's like uh, anything having to do with like having your hands on someone's throat is like suffocating, even though it's actually like the best thing to do. Instead of like beating someone to a pulp, you can just choke them out. See you later. I'm leaving. Yeah. But apparently like not according to the law. So don't do that. But if you watch my video, you can learn how to. Should I let Sarah try to choke me out on the air? I don't want to actually choke you out. And you want to do it? Video. I can teach you how, but no one will. No one can see. It's not good for radio. Okay. But they can. No, I'm on video Stars. right now. You guys can tune into PokerStars.tv right and see it. Right there, we're on video. That's a camera, you know. I can teach you how, but you could just watch my video and learn how. I could. All it right. Seems way e It's way easier than I thought. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. A little teaser. Okay, we'll do. We'll, we'll do a little like teaser. This is what she does. Sarah teases me all the time, so yeah. it's all good. Yeah, no. Okay, so I'm there. Uh-huh. This hand on my bicep. Uh-huh. And then I put my other hand back here, and I just squeeze oh, them together. Oh, this, this is so hot. See? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just saying. I might not, I might not have per perfected it yet, but... No, I mean, you were you were on the way to perfection on that. See, I can tell you right I, now. And actually, I'll be honest. My husband, I have made him do it to me before, and it's crazy. Like, the blood just stops going to your face, like, immediately. It's really scary. Yeah. In terms of other things to look out for, um, I don't know. We'll see. I, we're always just seeing what's happening on the floor, things happening on the flight. We've been recording these Q&A sessions every morning, which is just a lot, a lot of work for my editor. So yeah. we haven't been able to do as many fun things as I was kind of hoping. Oh, we're doing a, like a day in the life of Jason Mercier. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. He's such a... Free spirit. I just like his sense of humor. I yeah. like his sarcasm. So I think it'll be kind of funny and and different. And it's a lot of work. That video is a lot of work, too. But it'll be two minutes of just, this is what it's like when you're at the PCA with, with a pro. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, well, Sarah, thanks for coming over. I appreciate it. I'll let you get back guys. to work. You rule. We love you. Enjoy, enjoy your life. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Mom. <laughs> Sarah Grant, everybody. You know, so, some may say that um, you choked the other day in a tournament. We they might, but you were choked right now for sure. I was. Boy, she had really. Clin I mean, she hadn't even clinched that thing up, and I was in trouble. I, I just wanted to see a face turn a little bit more redder than it normally is. Yeah, you do have like a little bit of red tint to you. Yeah. What What's going on with that? I don't know. I'm just I'm just on in fuego <laughs> every day, <laughs> every day. All right. Well, let's get a break in here and. Uh, I'm going to oh. go check the board. Yeah, you're going to check the board, and I'm going to you know, pray to God that uh, nobody else comes over and tries to put a chokehold on me. And I might come back with a trophy. You never know. No, don't <laughs> give a love of God. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, stick around, everybody. We'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show. We're live from the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure here at the Atlantis Paradise Island Bahamas. Got to love it. We'll stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. The ultimate poker destination and the most outstanding poker in the world is in only one place. The 2015 Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure. January 6th through the 14th. Join Poker Stars pros like Daniel Negreanu, Chris Moneymaker, Liv Boree, Jason Mercier, Bertrand Elke Grospelier, Vanessa Selt, and many more of your favorites at the stunning Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas with some of the greatest events in poker, like the $100,000 High Roller. The America's Cup, the new Double Bubble Tournament, and the prestigious PCA Main Event. It's a must for anyone who's ever sat at a poker table. For more information on the PCA schedule, travel information, and much more, just visit PokerStarsCaribbeanAdventure.com and join us in the Bahamas for the PCA, January 6th through the 14th. 
Hi everyone, Mark here. If you're a poker player like me and looking for something different and exciting to play, you should give Open Face Chinese Poker a shot. It has just the right mix of skill, luck, plus a huge dose of the fun factor we're all looking for. There's a reason Open Face Chinese Poker has everyone from the recreational player to the top pros hooked on its thrills, action, and unique social interactions you won't find in Hold'em. An incredible game like this has got to be worth checking out. And it's easy to learn, especially by using the ABC Chinese Poker app. Download the ABC Chinese Poker app on iTunes today and find out what everyone's talking about. And if you have questions about the game, tweet at ABC Chinese Poker and they'll be glad to help you along. So join the Open Face Chinese Poker community today with the ABC Chinese Poker app and we'll see you at the tables. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high-quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit BlindSquirrelApparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. There's nothing better than sitting down to play poker with good friends and cutting loose. And that's what you're going to find when you tune in to Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is revolutionizing televised poker in a big way. With all the action you love and the hilarious fun you've been missing, come take a seat at the table with all your favorite players. Old and new with Poker Night in America. Mondays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on CBS Sports Network. And don't forget to visit the show online at Poker Night night.com so pull up a chair and join us mondays on poker night in america i'm dutch boyd two-time wsop bracelet winner and i want to share my story with you 12 years as a pro has taught me a lot for the last year i've boiled it all down into a tell-all book 90,000 words in poker tilt i take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw so go to www.pokertilt.com to read more or just go buy the new book on amazon or kindle right now pokertilt.com i guarantee you'll enjoy the ride PokerShop.com is your one-stop shop for all your poker and game room needs. PokerShop.com has you covered with an incredible variety of poker chips and supplies, top quality playing cards, plus gaming tables and room accessories, just like you'd find in your favorite casino. And if you're looking to spruce up your man cave, we offer a wide selection of decor options, from lighting to mirrors, and portable bars to bub stools, to make your game room the one all your friends and family will be talking about. So for everything you need to make your your game night a great night. Go to www.pokershop.com and receive 10% off your purchase with the code HOKE. H-O-K-E. You supply your friends. We supply everything else. Live it. Love it. Pokershop.com. Want more of the Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. This is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Oh, wait, Joe Payne is the host. Joe Payne is the host. And the uh, host didn't turn the, uh, didn't turn well, the well, Yes, I did. Welcome back to the Mark Hoke Show. <laughs> I am Joe Payne. I am the official host this week. You are. My special guest is Mark Hoke. Oh, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate it. How's your team doing? Uh, up 1070, baby. So uh, people that were talking trash to you on Hail the Bison, yeah. Um, you know, this guy this guy and I have been going back and forth for most of the season. Okay. 
And is, is I, he I just know a he hater, is. or uh, is he a fan of uh, a? Oh, he's a, a he's a hater. He's a hater. He's just a hater. Okay. Which is hard to believe because you know when you have haters, it means you're doing a good job. By the way, here's the thing about North Dakota State. There's absolutely nothing to hate about NDSU other than they win. You went There's to school there, didn't nothing. you? Nothing. Yeah, I did. I mean, well, everybody's biased. everybody's uh, now Joe. You know, you know, I've traveled the world here, but you went to North Dakota. The State. nicest people in the world live in Fargo. The kids don't do. I mean, I remember only one time where like one player ever got in trouble. In like twenty years at North Dakota State football, well, it's pretty hard to get in trouble when there's, no, there's nothing oh no. to do. Oh no, there's a lot. You can get in trouble in Fargo. You can. Oh yes. Okay. Well, you got to remember, there's not much to do in Fargo, especially when it's cold. But drinking tends to be at the top of that list. Yeah, but uh, drinking so, is kind of a uh, an accepted pastime of college students. It is, but not when you do things outside of the uh, the realm of what you're supposed to be doing. Well, if you drink enough, you usually pass out, and you can't get in trouble if you pass out. Yeah, but you could if you, you know, like paint the bison or something like that, you know, up there by the, by the PE building. Now, is there tipping of bison? I know it is like tipping of cows. We don't do that. No. No, I wouldn't try to tip a bison. Are you kidding me? They're pretty big boys, aren't they? They are huge. The thundering herd. But, yeah, so this so this goofball has been goofball. banging on me on Twitter. Um, well, why don't we... I'll get him in a second. What's his name? Um, I'll get him in a oh, second. Okay. Because I, I did have something uh, oh, pulled up here that okay, I wanted to make sure I mentioned. Uh, Feature table going on in the PCA right now. Chris Moneymaker, Sean Deeb, uh, Bill Contarados, uh, Tony Baggio, Marco Johnson, Ronald Laon, uh, Juan Monte, and Daniel Strail. It's very good table for that featured table going on on there right That's now. That's why the Chris live was as focused as he was when he walked down the hallway. Yeah, Moneymaker was the chip leader on that oh, table to start that day. Even more of a uh, 116,300 chips. Good for him. So, yeah, so Chris Moneymaker hanging around out there. Uh, yeah, the, 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 Twitter, uh, the Twitter troll is MoneyballX2, who has just been bashing the bison all year. Okay, you think just, he's listening just, in right now? Just every shot he's been he's been he's been taking. I wonder if that conversation. I wonder if the conversation's still there. Because you know, if listen- he's listening in, maybe he needs. Uh, you know what Joe said yesterday. Maybe he needs a finger up his butt. He uh, he he said that the the NDSU wasn't even the best team in our conference. Now we are playing in the national championship game a team from our conference, Illinois State. Credit to them because, man, they sucked last year. But they really put that program together. Got a transfer quarterback from Indiana, having a great year. They're they're a good ball club, but uh, may not be good enough today. I'm just going to predict that right now. But yeah, this guy, yeah, but this guy, uh, Moneyball X Two said, uh, "Does does?" I mean, he's really on the grammar thing there too. Does does it feel to know that I'm right and you're wrong? Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. Still a long way to go. It's early. Still a long way to go. Moneyball. Huh? That was Money a good movie. Ball X Two. That's a good movie. Moneyball. Moneyball is a very good movie. Watching a million Brian times. Reese, by the way. Yeah, look at that guy. He's yeah. tall. And if and he's, he's in the hallway, if he's in the hallway, it's not a good sign, though. No, it's not. It is not. But yeah, so uh, yeah, boy, we gotta. <laughs> boy, I gotta get back on poker here. Hey, the uh, of course that event that I came down here for the LAPT Bahamas main event, that thing wrapped it up yesterday, and we want to congratulate Josh K, who uh, knocked off Martin Martin Finger, Finger, of course, a World Series poker bracelet winner, cleared out all but one guy on that table. Well, and, at least your chips and, made it to the final table. Yeah, they did at some point. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Josh K taking that one down, uh, finger finishing second. K wins three hundred sixty-seven thousand. Not a bad Nine hundred twenty-eight bucks. Yeah, everybody was expecting that payday. You know, may have may break six figures. Yeah, okay. Easily Ooh. broke six. Yeah, figures. just a tad. Uh, finger picks up two hundred twenty-three thousand nine hundred on there. Uh, let's see, Stefan Yedlika finishes third, one fifty-eight seven forty for that. Jose Carlos Garcia, one nineteen eight twenty. Taylor Parr in six picks up ninety four thousand nine hundred twenty. Dimitar Donchev at seventy one thousand seven eighty. Jonathan Bornstein fifty one thousand five forty. And Mustafa Kanit thirty five thousand two hundred. Great, fi- what a great final table. Pretty impressive names. Very impressive names on that table. So big congratulations to Josh K taking that one home, and he will be uh, get a nice little trophy for that win. Good day for him. Very good. Yeah, and his back as if he had any. If he did, I'm sure he did. Well, you know, I what didn't. Would you have say well, you didn't have a backer? But what would you say the? Well, uh, well, technically, I guess I did. Sort of. Well, what would you say the percentage of players that are playing these events down here are playing with their own money, and what percentage are playing with sponsored money? Twenty percent. Twenty. Twenty percent probably. Own money. Their own money. Yeah, maybe. 
Just I, a wild guess. I think it might even be lower than that. It could be lower than that. But, yeah. But uh, congratulations, Josh K. Big win there. Um, let's see anything else. Haven't really gotten too many other reports on some of the other tournaments. We'll have to dig those up uh, as we uh, roll through here and report on who done do to what. Who done do that? But it's been a, a great tournament series so far, and uh, looking forward to continuing to roll through this main event. And Joe Stapleton, of course, uh, and uh, Hardigan and the boys on the live stream. For the He's a funny guy, by the way. Joe's awesome. That's the first time I uh, yeah, you hadn't met Joe yet. Had not met him, and uh, he is uh, he's got a good sense of humor. And I could see, you know, he's he's he made an excellent point. You just can't give strategy, and you got to add some humor to it. Oh you yeah, you got to make uh, people yeah. laugh a little bit, it's at, either at themselves or at at their opponents. But just adding some levity today kind of lightens it, kind of lines the mood up a little. It's bit. incredibly hard to be on the air for six, eight, ten, twelve hours in a row. I've done it. It's difficult, and doing commentary, you know, and even and doing commentary just is <sighs> for that long is hard. You really, I mean, you know, people don't understand that when you get ready to do a broadcast like that. You try to pull up all this extra material, so you've got things to go to as you go through the broadcast. But even that is only going to get you so far. Exactly. You know, y y you can dig up all the fun stuff you want, but eventually, you know, you have to be able to carry on a conversation. So uh, there's Paul Volpe, uh, Matt Waxman, and Aaron Massey doing their thing. Um, this, and, you know, and uh, speaking of that, by the way, this is the scene that we're going to be seeing the rest of this. Of course, you know, we're very familiar with the World Series, where we start seeing people walking out the door and then not on and break. we and we know who's uh, getting knocked out of this thing so that's kind of we're kind of going to be the first source of your eliminations because everybody's got to go past us to the uh, gentleman in a wheelchair is the i play the main event against main event against him and uh i didn't know that he's that of accomplished you know you play the main event you figure everyone's a good player but this guy is a very accomplished player and we got involved we tangled in a hand um, he got, he eventually folded, but that was the hand I won bust on when I had t uh, when I flopped two pairs and the gentleman to his immediate left flopped a set of tens and he was in the hand also. I believe he was on a flush draw and I pushed to get him off the draw, which he eventually folded. But the uh, my two pairs never improved. But uh, and then when he was he went rather deep in the main event and I was talking to a buddy of mine and said, hey, you know the kid in the wheelchair, very good player, very aggressive, and the guy next to me turned around and said, that's my boy. Yeah. So sometimes you never know. Nice. When, you, when you're in the rail saying things about players, you know, uh, you never know who's standing next to you. It was his dad. And, uh, so we got into a nice conversation about his son. And um, So you meet, you meet a lot of good people who s eventually take your chips, but, but you, become, you become good friends with a lot of players here in town. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so that's uh, kind of where we are right now here for this main event. Um, and like I said, the players uh, just uh, finished up their first break of the day. Uh, they will be coming back out, uh, you know, right around. Well, they got three more hours. We're coming back before at six, they get to right? sleep, and we're going to be back at six. Six. So well, that's three o'clock in Vegas time. Yeah. For those vi Vegas listeners. Yeah, we may have to adjust that because I th well because if they're doing breaks every two hours, we may have to swing that uh, start time a little later. May have to do it. I'll get recalculate the math. Just let me know. Yeah, I'll let you. Know. Well, we'll we'll be on at six tonight. We'll be on at six. Yeah, we already announced. Oh, you mean for future dates? Yeah. Okay. But we'll get it all figured out. But yeah, I mean, but this is uh, man, this is this is a tough day for some players. Ten thousand. Just seeing them trickle out the door. Ten thousand three hundred buy-in. This is a tough day. It's interesting. It looks like they do. Like, uh, unlike the World Series, who, do, who does ten thousand and they pull out? I think it's like six hundred. Um, this looked like it was a ten thousand three hundred dollar buy-in. Mm -hmm. yep. So they do a little different here. Yeah, and you know, one of the thing I wanted to make sure we got to talk about a little bit uh, before we uh, we sign off here. Uh, well, first, actually, let me uh, let me get this information because got to make sure that we mentioned this on the show. In one moment, because we don't have the ad whipped up yet, so I want to make sure that we get to talk about Zen Poker mentoring. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, we got to throw our, start throwing our patches on too. Uh, but Zen Poker Mentoring has a great event coming up. Yeah, you guys all know Brian Rast. You know Brian Rast. Rasty's the man, right? He's got his headphones on. Didn't hear us. What? Who? No, Brian. He usually has the headphones on. When oh well, that oh, wasn't yeah. that wasn't. No, Brian, no, 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 no. Yeah, um, but uh, Brian Rast. Uh, let's see, Vanessa Russo, Christy Arnett, and of course, you know our good buddy Ace Ace McFarland, who used to run the WSOP Academy. 
uh, is in on this thing. And we want you to join us for Zen Poker Mentoring's debut coaching event uh, with Rast, Veruso, Arnett. Unique po po poker mentoring you're going to be able to use on and off the felt. It's great stuff. Event's going to be held February 21st and 22nd at the Meet, Meet Las Vegas Event Center across from the D. And that place is something else. If you haven't been in there yet, it's, one of, it's brand new and it's one of the newest coolest places for any business conferences whatever to check out uh so we would love to have you come down and see us there we'll be doing some live broadcasts and uh at this event and of course you know you can get in and you know learn learn some stuff about poker and other cool stuff i'm kind of stumbling because i lost my i kind of lost my spot there i tried no i didn't lose the train i lost the uh, because my, my computer is horrible. The no, the train didn't come off the tracks. No, something else did here. Um, but the first 15 people to register get free two-night stay. A free two-night stay at the D. The rooms are really right? nice there, by the way. Absolutely. Too. It's a yeah. beautiful place down downtown Las Vegas. Uh, not to mention, we're also going to be giving away a $565 seat for the Colossus event that we'll be seeing this summer. Uh, so go to zenpokermentoring.com, zenpokermentoring.com, and sign up for that event. You are going to be glad you did. It is going to be sensational. And you know, just the way they're teaching and the things that they're doing. Oh, hey, Mitch, get your uh, headbuds on because uh, somebody somebody's around. Got to say hi to, to this guy real quick. Let's, uh, let's see if he hears us. And, and, and there he is, uh, our other co-host, who is back in lovely Las Vegas, Nate Dallin. What's up, Nate? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Nate. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Sir, I didn't realize you guys were live. Yeah, we are live. Yeah, we are live. You betcha. We just thought we'd give you a call real quick. I saw you were you were on there, so I thought I'd say hi. Well, you have to remember that when you say the show's on at one thirty, <laughs> that it would be ten thirty. Yeah, well, different time zone. Yeah, yeah, and what's your point, Jeff Gross? There, by the way, looking good. Yeah, if I wanted to look like somebody, I think I want to look like Jeff. Really? Yeah, yeah he's a pretty handsome guy. Uh, but yeah, Nate, we're having a great time down here, and uh, good to get to talk to you. Um, yeah, we were just talking about that Zen Poker mentoring, so uh, great event coming up with that. And of course, you know, we've been having these uh, the breakfast with the pros going on. You here. have been having the breakfast. Well, you I made one. You you've, you've been sleeping. I've been made. I made one. Uh, interesting discussion today with Jake Cody in there and Elky talking about transitioning from online to live. Uh, you know, pretty uh, pretty entertaining uh, chat with everybody there. But I love I love these breakfasts with the pros because they're they're opening this up to the audience to ask questions and you know people are firing away all sorts of interesting stuff. Uh, so so a good discussion with uh, with Elkie and Jake Cody about you know when they made the move from live to online or online to live and the challenges that they faced and what they needed to you know what were the the biggest obstacles for them and to hear it from those guys that have just been so incredibly successful. Pretty cool to, to get to chat about that. Nate, what are you doing up so early? I know. It's only 1130. Right? I know. You <laughs> must have just got in from last night. The the kid was up playing video games. Oh. oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's a couple more coming up here. Of course, the one that everybody's looking forward to is on the 12th with Daniel Negreanu, which, uh, you know, talking about the mental port, mental side of the game. Uh, but those those have been outstanding, and uh, you know, Nate, it's too bad you weren't here because I would have made you do the Tito Ortiz workout on the beach. And Nate, I did hear about the Tito Ortiz yeah. uh, Nate, stuff. That you're was not going missing much. It, 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 is is Jenna Jameson down there? Hey, 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 now. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, she was. I did see her last night walking through the casino. But it's raining. It's cloudy. It's miserable. No, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> That's what you. That's what you encountered when you're in the Pacific Northwest. Yes, exactly. It was. It was horror bad. Horror bad. Was expected. I believe Jenna was uh, roaming the hallways tonight, last night. All right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's who he's married to. My bad. How would you not even think about that? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking poker, man. Is that another blind date you're trying to line up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see how that works out <laughs> for you. We'll see. But, yeah, so, I mean, this PCA has been incredibly exciting already. And more to come. Uh, we're going to be back on tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Nate, that would be three o'clock your time. Buddy. Three o'clock your time. Got it. You're gonna be. Are you gonna be around, Nate Dallin? Yeah, I should be around. Okay, that's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe we'll be nice and let you back on the show. Eh, what a guy. It's up to Joe now. He's he's the yeah, he's the, the, host. the host. No, I think we let Nate on. He's, okay, he's he's okay in my book. All right, fair enough. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate. Oh, you're it. welcome, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we might have political differences, but. 
We, we're okay on the polka pages. You betcha. All right. So um, once again, if you guys want to follow the show uh, and, of course, interact with us, we have our Twitter, uh, at Mark Hoke Show, Facebook, The Mark Hoke Show. And we keep that Twitter open during the, the show, as you can kind of tell. So you know, say hi to us there. We've also got the Skype open at uh, Mark Hoke 5150. That crazy guy. That's right, doing this thing. And, of course, we also have... Uh, you can catch us there and give us a call 702-997-3015 702-997-3015 so if you want to interact with the show uh, obviously we're going to be going off the air here shortly we'll be back at six but just <laughs> keep that in mind you know put that phone number in your uh, in your contacts we'd love to hear from you absolutely and it should be an exciting night tonight as we will be back on the air so so nate we got you in for a couple minutes to say hi well i appreciate it well we appreciate you well, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> just, just in case anybody is listening, still up here in Nevada, the $25,000 guarantee is tomorrow. $200 buy-in on WSOP.com. That's going to be a blast. Yeah, careful who you're plugging there right now, Nate. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're, we're plugging poker stars right yeah, now. We are, yeah, we're, we're, kind of, we're kind of in a poker stars mode. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we don't have the opportunity to play here in Nevada. Pretty, I know. pretty soon. Pretty soon. The pretty rumor is pretty soon. But <laughs> we hope. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't get our lights punched out for that one. Anyway. <laughs> by the, <laughs> by who, the governor of New Jersey? Or? No, no, by the president of Poker Stars. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, he would like that to happen this quicker than, than all of us. Well, that part, yeah. yeah. I want that. I'd rather play on Poker Stars tomorrow. There you go. Okay. We'll come down here. <laughs> that, that'll work. All right. So that's going to wrap up our day show. Uh, we'll be back at 6 o'clock tonight. Eastern Time, hopefully celebrating a North Dakota State Bison 12th National Championship. For your four in a row. So. Four in a row. Pretty excited. So uh, I'll get that game turned on here in a little bit. But want to thank uh, Rep Porter and Sarah Grant for stopping by, Nate and Joe. Well, Joe should be thanking me. No. You have to. I'm thanking you because? You're the host of the show. Oh, absolutely. And we're thanking Nate for calling in. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll see you tonight uh, back here at the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure. And once again, thanks for Poker Stars for having us down. We will see you tonight. Have a great afternoon, and we will catch you this evening here on the Mark Oak Show live from the PCA. You betcha. So we'll catch you later this evening.